bandit, a nomadic male, has arrived. Nkosi glares at the trespasser, a blatant challenge to his authority. But Bandit is not here to oust Nkosi. Brown Eyes is his target. Having given birth, she's ready to mate again. Bandit sneaks forward towards the group. But the gang won't tolerate him coming any closer. Bandit ducks down a hole. The gang are relentless. But Bandit is a seasoned brawler. He gives as good as he gets. Their point made, the gang return to the burrow to lick their wounds. <laughs> Harmony returns. The Addo gang settles down for a siesta. has things other than sleep on her mind. Out in the heat, Bandit gazes back at her. And when the group sets out to forage again, he sidles up towards her. Brown Eyes moves away from the others, and Bandit follows. Meanwhile, Nkosi, as always, stands guard. In the end, Bandit's persistence pays off. Objective achieved, Bandit will now move on. He'll visit other groups, other females, but almost certainly he'll be back when the next chance arises to mate with one of the Addo gang females. This way, new genes will flow into the group and unknowingly Nkosi, who is probably a very close relative of Brown Eyes, will help to raise young that Bandit has fathered. On the lookout for predators, Nkosi notices another threat. A storm is brewing. Brown Eyes too recognizes danger and begins to move the babies to higher ground. As the storm approaches, Nkosi stays at his post. Brown Eyes returns time and again until all the young are out of danger of drowning. When the rain begins in earnest, does Nkosi head for the shelter of the burrow? (whistles) 
When the rain stops, he is the first to emerge, cold and bedraggled. As night falls, the meerkats retreat underground. A fresh new dawn finds the Addo gang warming themselves in the first rays of the sun. With the rain comes an abundance of food for the meerkats. The good times are back. The meerkats' dusty patch is transformed into a colorful paradise. And with the flowers come the insects, a feast for the meerkats and insect-eating birds like egrets. The babies are growing too, learning the skills they'll need to survive out here. <coughs> to keep up in the gang, they have to be competitive and aggressive, particularly when food is involved. But some food is quite simply unreachable. An ostrich egg is just too hard for them to crack. It may not be eatable, but it still makes a good plaything for the inquisitive youngsters. 